Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will see some date time related aspects using Hibernate in JPA. This video is the continuation of the last video in terms of the code setup. So please check out the last video if you haven't done so or feel free to follow along. So in the last video, we worked with two tables, user and audit. So for this demo, we will simply focus on a single table, which is user. And this user table has two new columns, created date and updated time. Created date is a simple date data type column, which will store the date when a new record is created or inserted in the table. And updated time will be a column of data type date time which will store the timestamp whenever the record is updated. So how do we update such columns? How do we update such details whenever the record gets created or updated? Well, we always have a choice to set the corresponding properties explicitly, which is created date and updated time in this case. Or we can use Hibernate and let Hibernate generate and populate these columns automatically. So we will see how can we do that in this video. Let's move on. So here we have the user entity from the last video. We have the required columns like user ID, name, email, and then address. We don't have any column related to created date and updated time, which we will add. Apart from this, we have the user repository and the main application. What I will do for this demo, I will create a new feature branch just for this demo. Then we will make the changes in that feature branch. So let's do that. We will name it temporal changes and now we are in the feature branch so let's change the user entity because we need two columns to extra columns so what we need to do we need to add two additional properties so the first one is going to be private local date created date and the second one will be of type local date time and we will name it updated time all right or we can even have the created date as local date time so we added two properties of type local date time created date and updated time and notice local date time is coming from the latest java and hibernate the latest version of hibernate in jpa is compatible with the latest Java library. So now that we have two properties, how do we ask Hibernate or how do we configure JPA Hibernate to update these properties automatically whenever a new record is getting created or an existing one is getting updated? Well, there are two Hibernate specific annotations that we need to use to achieve this. And please note, these are not JPA, these are Hibernate specific annotation. So let's add the first one, which is creation timestamp and this is coming from org.hibernate and the second annotation is update timestamp all right so when we use these two annotations what will happen when we run the application hibernate checks if this is going to be a new insertion if yes it will auto populate the created date but if the record is getting modified it will also update the updated time it will not touch created date in that case because the record is only getting through the updation process. So let's see how to run this. How do we test this? So here we have the code to insert the user record into the database. For this demo, we can simply remove the audit related code, which is from the last video. All right. So here we are saving a new user in the database and uh, notice we are not setting the date related columns explicitly. Hibernate will do it automatically. So when we create a new record it will update the created time accordingly and once the record is inserted what we will do we will fetch the record back we will update it to verify that it doesn't touch the created date time but it only updates the updated time to do that after the insertion let's introduce a delay so that we can monitor the updated time all right and maybe a delay of two seconds and then using the repository, we will save the record again. So that's all we need. First, we are inserting the record and then after two seconds, we are updating the same record. So let's start the application and see how it works.
So here we see first the insert query when the user record was inserted and then we see the update query when we are updating the record after two seconds. Now let's verify the data in the table. It is the user table and here we see the created date column now and updated time and notice the created date is 6.37.21 while the updated time is 6.37.23 a difference of two seconds. So that means when we are updating the record it will only update the update time not the create date time and that's what we wanted right. So in this way by using the hibernate specific creation timestamp and update timestamp annotations we can let hibernate automatically generate the create date and update time whenever there is a manipulation that happens on the record.